Hi. Some of the most important chemical analyses we do in the lab are the nutrient measurements. Nutrients are what the algae or phytoplankton need to grow, just like your lawn needs fertilizer to stay green. There are two main nutrients that algae need, nitrogen and phosphorus. See how we take samples of slimy periphyton to bring back to the lab? Periphyton is the algae that attaches itself to the rocks in the shallow water near the edges of the lake. Periphyton blankets the rocks and can be slippery if you step on it on your way to go swimming. It's an indicator of where excess nutrients are coming into the lake. Lakes that are clear usually have very small amounts of nutrients and very few phytoplankton. They're called oligotrophic lakes. If you add more nitrogen and phosphorus to an oligotrophic lake, it will very quickly grow more algae and start to look green. Most lakes are green in color because they have so much algae growing. Such lakes are called eutrophic. It's a natural process for a lake to change from being oligotrophic to eutrophic, but it would normally take tens of thousands of years or longer. What we're worried about here is that many of the activities that people do in the Tahoe Basin, like construction, driving cars, using fertilizer on lawns and golf courses, accelerate eutrophication. The lake has changed a lot in just the last 40 years, and eutrophication is one of the big concerns. The good news is that there are many things being done to reduce the amount of nutrients entering the lake so that it doesn't turn green. Ask what you can do to keep the nutrients out of Lake Tahoe and keep it looking clear and blue.